Today we'll be reading Where I'm From by George L. Lyon. As you are reading, remember you have to cue. Cueing is C, circle unknown words and define them. U, underline important information. E, explain what it was that you read. Okay? Now let's begin. Where I'm from by George Ella Lyon. I'm from clothespins, from Clorox and carbon ditroclide. I am from the dirt under the back porch, black, glistening, it tasted like beets. I am from the Forithia bush, the Dutch elm, whose long gone limbs I remember as if they were my own. So right here in his poem, in this first stanza that we're reading, he's saying where he is from, right? But it's not from an actual place. Instead, he is saying, I am from clothespins, from Clorox and carbon detroclide. And then he explains dirt from under the back porch. I am guessing from his house. So I'm going to put fam from family. Okay, and then how he explained it to how it was black, how it looked, he gives you that imagery, and how it tasted like beets. So obviously this person has ate dirt whenever they were younger. I am from Faritha Bush, the Dutch elm. So these are like different plants that are, I believe they're in his home. And he explains what it looks like. And then he says, I remember as if they were my own. So whenever they're talking about like long limbs right here, think of, I believe that they're trying to um, explain the roots. That's what he's doing. He, so he's talking about how the roots were long. They were long, but they were still growing kind of like his own. So in a way they're giving an imagery of like, he's tall, he's long, he's a tall person. All of this right here is just imagery. Imagery of giving you an idea of where he came from. Kind of like I said, his family home. Okay? And it's not being literal. All of this is figurative. And what and the type of figurative language that they're using here to explain where he is from is pretty much um, like a metaphor. Because it's like a different comparison. Because they're comparing his home to all the things that he remembered. They're not, he's not directly coming from all of that. But those are the things that make up who he is. Things that he remembers from his childhood. Okay? And then this also could be a hyperbole. So those are all the different things that made up who he was in his household. Okay? Let's go on to the next stanza. I am from fudge and eyeglasses, from Imogen and Alf Alf Alifair. I am from the know-it-alls and the pass-it-ons, from the perk-up and pipe-down. I am from he restored this my soul with cotton ball lamb, and ten verses I can say myself. So in this one right here, in a way, these are the things that he, I am from fudge. Fudge is a candy, so something he probably ate as a child. Eyeglasses, he probably wore glasses as a kid. And from Imogen and Aloe Fair. So these are artists. Probably don't know them, it's very old timey. <laughs> and then he also says from know-it-alls and pass-it-ons, from perk up to pipe down, so in a way, these are things he heard as a child, okay? And then, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. <laughs> I am from restored this, he restored this my soul with cotton ball. Sorry. 
and 10 verses I can say myself. So right here, this is like a religious thing right here, but basically talking about his, you know, him going to church probably as a child and all the verses he can remember. So like I said, back to things that he heard, but also like things from his childhood, whether it be food, things he wore, music he heard, and going back to like the religion that he heard as well from his church classes. So I'm just going to put church, school, okay? Like I said, this is all figuratively. He's not literally made up like you can see this in him but he's not made up literally from these things but figuratively this is what makes him who he is this is where he's from this is what he was born to you know this is what made him into the person he is now okay i am from artemis and billy branch fried corn and strong coffee from the finger my grandfather lost to aug auger the eye my father shut to keep his sight. So, right here. Yes, this one stands out. Okay, so right here from Artemis and Billy Branch, fried corn. So something he probably ate a lot or had a lot in his childhood. So food he ate. I'm guessing... This are these are probably TV shows that he watched as a child, and then right here, fingers from my so these the finger my grandfather lost, and the auger eye that my father shut to keep his sight. These are stories, stories he heard as a child. And like I said, this is, you're all probably like, this is so confusing. Why is he explaining all these things that are not literally where he is from, but there's stuff, there are things that he remembers. That's what we're going back to. Going back to, like I said, memories from the past. This is the theme here. Memories from the past. That's what he's talking about. All the things that basically remind him of home okay and these are the stories that he grew up with probably hearing a lot you know those stories that you had as a child um that your grandparents probably like remember the time that i did this and they probably said it for like the hundredth time that is what he's explaining he remembers those stories because one is probably told over and over again but also too it's something that you know it's a childhood memory something that you grew up with so Last stanza. This is not a long poem. Yay. Under my bed was a dress box, spilling old pictures, a sift of lost faces, a drift beneath my dreams. I am from those moments, snapped before I budded, leaf fall from the family tree. Okay. So. He's talking about a dress box that he had. And it, like, going back to, like, that, all pictures sift through lost faces. That saying right here, lost faces. So, in a way, it's kind of like when you can't remember someone's face, that's pretty much what it's saying. He remembers that probably the memory of it but he doesn't remember who is there that's what happens like i said whenever you get older you start losing your memory or memory starts becoming very patchy so it's very hard for you to remember who was where so i am put over here that he doesn't remember some things I don't like that I did not put there. Let's try that one again. Okay. Adrift beneath my dreams. Going back to this, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of like how you dream about like a memory or something and it's like a deja vu moment. I have those sometimes too, so don't get me wrong. But that's kind of what he's explaining here, kind of like deja vu. That right there beneath the drift of my dreams is kind of like an idiom, okay? And then right here, I am from those moments. 
snapped before I budded, leaf fall from the family tree. So right here, it kind of gives you an image going back to like they're using hyperbole. Oops, I do not like how that looked. Okay. To explain how he's growing old. Like I said, this goes back to the fact that, like, he's talking about he's growing, he's an older man, he's growing old, he's recognizing all the memories that he's missing, all the memories that he remembers, where he is from, just basically going back to, like, this the memories from the past, that theme of trying to remember the past, okay? So you will be creating a poem just like this. I know you're not old. <laughs> <laughs> like this man right here but you are going to be basically creating a poem I'm just talking about the stuff that you know now whether it be I know it's like that not that long ago where you had where you you know you had your little five-year-old self while watching TV on Saturday nights but this is basically the poem you're gonna make of what you have so far the memories you have so far and it's like just a good lesson of getting to know not only your classmates, but also the people that we've been learning with during this quarter. So this will be our final project. You'll be creating this right here. Um, just look at this again. Read this story. Read this poem one more time and look to see like what are the things he used. Like I said, he didn't just use um, actual memories. He talked about the different items he had in the household that he remembered, the different sounds that he heard the different um, shows he watched, food he ate, stories he remembered, yes. But like I said, going back to just having an idea of what you need to have for this poem, okay?